Hey there, Ben Lipper here. So how on earth do you tie this little rubber band to this uh, spinny thing so you can make a rubber band tensioner? Basically, if you want to adjust how tight your catapult is, how on earth do you tie it so this rubber band's stuck and then I can spin this? As this spins, you notice that rubber band gets tighter and tighter and I'll make a much more powerful, stronger shot and then I let go and now it's looser and I can shoot like high goal and low goal that way. So how on earth do you do this? Let me just show you real quick. So you can use anything you want. I use this one because it's got basically anything that has a square in the middle and some holes around the outside. That's about all you need. I use this one. It's just like a pulley. Um, these gears work awesome. So if you're like, I have nothing, these gears are great. If you've got these weird little blue pieces, um, they work great too. And if you have these like older black pieces, I know most people don't have these anymore. Uh, these came with Gen 1. Um, but if you have some of these too, they work. Just make sure you get the ones that have the square in the middle. The ones that have that circle in the middle aren't going to work. So let me just show you on this guy. I'll do it on the gear. Um, basically, all you're going to do is you're going to pick two of the holes. It doesn't matter which two, but make sure they're two that are next to each other. I'm going to start by taking the rubber band and put it through one of the holes. So I'm just kind of squeezing it. I know my fingers are kind of getting in the way, but there we go. Kind of get that rubber band through one of the holes, and you're like, perfect. I've got it just like through like this. By the way, this is a cow hitch. I was, gonna, I was trying to find a video of this on YouTube, and I just could not find one um, that explained how to do it with a loop of rope. But basically you got this and then you're going to go ahead and go through another one of these holes. So I've got like this loop on this side. We're going to go ahead and feed it back through this side. And it's a little tricky. You just kind of got to pinch it off. Um, there we go. Just like so. And so this part, we actually haven't tied any knot. If I pull right here, this is just going to pop right out. You know, if I pull, it's going to get smaller. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do the cow hitch part. So here's the tricky part. You got to basically open this rubber band. It doesn't matter which side, but open one side. Kind of reach through it with your fingers. And so you see, I'm reaching through there with my fingers. I'm gonna come over here, grab this one, and pull. As you see, I pull, this guy goes through that one. You pull it tight, and if you did it right, it'll uh, stay in there like that. If you did it wrong, it'll just pop right through and you'll be sad, and you'll get to do it again, and you get to rewatch this video. Uh, and then you'll notice I can take this and I can just spin it around the shaft. And as I spin the shaft, you can see that rubber band gets tighter and looser. So like say, this was on my catapult, I'd spin it and spin it and spin it, and this would be a like super high shot, and then maybe I'd let some of it out, and now it's a lower shot. So that's all there is to it. I know it's a bit of a weird thing. Go ahead and watch this video a few times if you need it. If you're like, that's awesome, Ben, I got it, and I, now I need a robot to make an adjustable shot that I can score both high and low on, um, there's a video right here for a slightly more advanced one, and here's a video for um, a much simpler one you actually build from step-by-step -step instructions. Go ahead and check out one of those, and I look forward to seeing what you build.